Hey, this is Firestarter. Welcome back to Let's Play Factorio. This will be episode 3. And I think we left off last episode by just completing this stuff here. And then just realizing that the the products being uh, constructed here, both of these things, uh, those are what is, uh, those are pretty much what's needed for the uh, green beakers. But I kind of want to keep this as my personal stuff, I think. I don't know. Well, now that I have the actual layout of what I need for the green beakers, I think I might just follow that. But before that, I'm running into an iron shortage. I should be producing the same amount. Yeah, per five seconds, I've seen about 12. 12 is about average. So I'm not producing any less, it's just that I'm consuming a ton more. Oh yeah, check out the consumption, I mean, 14 plates and I'm only making 12. So, that's why I left this open space here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these here because I get tired of uh, crafting these by hand. It takes forever. I just picked up 33 inserters, and yeah, I rather enjoy that. I'm being attacked. I know I'm making ammunition. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And a steel axe. I didn't just make iron on accident, did I? No. I want to repair my walls before it's too late. Yeah, that's good. Out of ammo. Up here as well. I could automate that, really. I haven't got far enough into the game to make. Oh shit. That was so close. If I didn't just drop that ammo inside that uh, turret, I would have just died right there. Okay, I have to really get serious about defense now. I can make a submachine gun. Shotgun. Oh, that shoots a lot faster. Awesome. Okay, back to what I was doing here. Um, wait, these are going... Yeah, I made a mistake here. You guys are feeding out... These guys are actually 
feeding the furnace, and I have two long-headed inserters. And that should work. So why does that keep showing? Okay. Whoa, let me grab that steel. Alright. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six assembly machines. Where am I putting my extra iron? I thought I s no, I took that uh, inserter away, I forgot. Yeah, I need to increase the production on that big time. I don't think this is enough. Which is unfortunate, I didn't future-proof any of this. Like, I'd like to keep all my um, iron plate producers in the same spot. It actually won't be that difficult. I can just keep bringing it Hmm. I'm definitely consuming a lot more than I'm creating still. I say I cut down on my steel production because I don't really know if I need that yet. So I, should, I shouldn't be consuming that much. Yeah, I went down to 16. I'm producing more at this rate. Cool. Okay. Wow, I need a lot of iron plates. Hmm, maybe it wasn't producing as much because, um, yeah. Wait, I have some copper going to the wrong side. Maybe that was my fault. You know what? Instead of doing all this crap... Oh, those don't reach that far.
Okay, I think it works properly now. I see, I don't really have raw ore reaching the top furnace. Then I can go with another electric drill. Yeah, I, I just want to make sure I'm keeping up with my iron because that's really important right now. That should help me out. I'm producing more than I'm consuming. That's all I want to see. Also with electricity. Uh, I need to take care of that now. Wait, did I just read that wrong? Consumption 1.1 megawatts production 1.0 so I'm obviously under maybe I don't know how to read these charts I don't know performance on this meter I don't know I'm, I'm making more steam engines so can I just shoot the trees I can I'll check that out. Shotgun's awesome. Oh yeah. This is so much better than chopping. of the green beakers yet. I've talked about that since last episode. I kind of want to automate my pipes and pipe to ground production as well. I'm trying to think of how exactly I want to do this. I think we can bring this stuff back around. Wonder how that's gonna look. We're about to find out. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. I guess looks don't really matter too much. Okay. Right, I gotta fix this problem. figure out a way to solve this. Um, go like that. And I'm being attacked. I better make sure... Uh, oh crap, no ammo.
took care of him, either way. Alright, where was I? So let's just do that. Grab these. Do that. Okay, that's working. Okay, I can still move through. Okay, so as I'm peaking performance, that performance meter should go up. Let me just go ahead and take a look at this graph again. I'm still consuming just... Hmm. I'm gonna assume if my production goes up, my total output probably be what 3.0 yeah I'm gonna assume that way all right oh, we got plenty of iron uh, plate now Makes no sense to bring this copper or coal out like this when I have this line going straight up. All this was for was uh, for the steel. assembly machines are done so I can go ahead and start automating my uh, green beakers so what I needed what one two three Four, five, six. Wait, there shouldn't be, there should only be five, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna copy this one because the belts and the inserters both need the, uh, Iron gear wheels. All right. Transporter belt. Inserter. Circuit and copper cable. You all will go like this. You feed both ways. Alright, you also want to get fed that way. And we just need to power this up. my defenses aren't really all that bad. You know what? I'm consuming way, way too much uh, iron here. Oh, 
output output so I'm going to take you up one and over Did that just totally delete my uh, inserter? Oh, well, whatever. I think that'll work. Put that here. You're gonna make green beakers. put right on top. Yeah, that just totally destroyed my beakers. Oh, what am I doing? I know. I'm trying to put these things on the other side, on the bottom side. do that they should show up on the bottom now and then I can just go ahead and connect these at will that should work that should uh, automate my science Yeah, I can have a chest feed like multiple uh, factories. So I would want to do that. I guess for right now, I'm gonna have. Just two of these factories. Which might be enough anyway to automate my green beakers fully. <laughs> no power.
Okay. So you make green beakers. And you shall make green beakers. Something like this should definitely work. Cool. And now I'm getting a ton of the <laughs> the green beakers right now. Oh my gosh, look at it. Stand this for all that much longer, really. Such a large base up there. So now that I got my science completely automated at this point, I'm working on advanced electronics, but what else can I do? I'll make two more of the assembly machines because I want machines to be making my pipes for me. I'm going to do that right here. So you're going to be making pipes and pipe to ground. These are probably going to need regular pipes. Yep. So that should work out. I would just need power. I can do something better with that. Actually, make these smart inserters now and research has been complete so we could work on laser turrets how about steel furnaces give me a reason to use my steel monsters are getting more intense. Getting better armor could help. Only requires uh, red beakers. Let me just go ahead and get that for now. Now I'm obviously not producing enough iron and if I want to get my uh, steel going I'm gonna have to uh, double my output. Didn't really leave myself with too much room here, but what can I do? I can split this up and get a whole another set of uh, furnaces over here, I guess. Sounds like a plan, that's what I'll do. Okay.
I think I'm going to follow the same layout, except cop or, uh, coal will be on the other end. Or I can just bring it down, who knows. Um, well, let me go ahead and replace those with smart inserters. Okay, what I'm going to do here is... No. Oh. That's a steel chest, not a smart chest. That explains it. So, if our pipes, if we have less than what, I'm just going to go with 10. If there's less than 10, we're going to keep them. Oh! Okay. I'm going to do the same over here as well. If we have less than 10 pipe to grounds. And obviously we need to increase our iron production so oops split it up. Shoot, I don't know. Hell, might as well. I guess coal will be going down the same side. Alright, then we got our stone furnaces. Armor crafting 2, awesome. Let's go ahead and go for this because we're working on our um, iron production right now. Actually, I'm going to have to take this down here. Unfortunate. Or not. Okay, I'll have to move that in the future eventually, but that'll help me out right here. You know, I should just use those underground things right here.
Wait, this stuff is going down. And... Should be fixed now, right? Okay, yeah, we are. And I can go ahead and remove this stuff here. And we're looking good. Oh, man. I wonder how the shotgun works on these guys. Not too bad. You know what? That gun is getting damaged. to this so we need thing all right obviously input for the ore right the long inserters for the coal need to power this stuff this is going to get output here That's not helping me here. That's not helping either. That will though. So even with our two other furnaces going, let's see if we can catch up. Why are we not... There we go. Getting a stockpile here. That looks like a lot of iron coming through. I think I'm good for now. Let's check out our consumption. About 30 per 5 seconds. We're not producing that much. Crazy. Alright. Let's keep going then. Let's add a couple more furnaces. steel furnaces too. Hmm. Gun turret damage upgrade sounds pretty good actually.
So everything is working reasonably. We have a clear path. Looping all the way around. Look at all this extra stuff here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our consumption. We're looking pretty good. How about power? Good. Now what do we want to work on? Heavy armor. Let's go ahead and throw that away. I want to find a way to clear out some of these uh, enemy bases. That is just craziness right there. Anyway, I think next episode I'll, I'll try to find a, a way to start clearing out some of these bases. I've never done that before in this game, so that should be interesting. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Take care.